Hey guys, it's Kartaka here, and uh, today I'm here with a Tajikaze deck profile. This is the updated deck with the um, Shride stuff, and it's a hybrid with the Dark Rex stuff because uh, this deck is pretty fun to play, and uh, you can pull it off, so uh, why not, right? Uh, not, probably not the best idea to use that exact tactic against uh, Diablo decks, but um, you always have the option if uh, you think you can finish them off. So, uh, first up, for Starting Vanguard, we're running the new uh, Starting Vanguard from the Technical Booster. Skill is uh, Generation Pick 1, Counter Boss 1. Uh, on your turn, when this card is placed uh, is placed to the drop zone from the rear guard circle, you can pay the cost if you do. Search your deck for a grade 1 and uh, call it to the rear guard, uh, to, okay, call it to a rear guard circle. And then during that turn, that unit gets plus 3,000 power. So, uh, it's a great one toolbox. It's pretty good and um, for the cost of him getting killed and the counter one you can uh, search for any great one so it's pretty good and you can revive it of course with uh, the triceratops so that you can yeah, get a plus one All right so triceratops skill is uh, so it has the uh, engorge skill which is when this card attacks you can choose one of your rear guards one or, one or more of your rear guards and retire them, and then during this turn, this card will be engorged. So, a lot of cards will have engorged, but uh, I'll just uh, I just explain it, so I'll just say that they have engorged, and then I'll read the effect. Alright, so his uh, Generation Break 2 skill is, when this card is engorged, you, uh, this card gets plus 5,000 power and extra critical. And uh, his Shride Break skill is, Count Boss 1, when this card on your turn, if you uh, shred a G unit on top of this card, uh, you can choose two units in, uh, in your hand and call them out to rear guard circles, and um, those rear guards uh, choose two rear guards and they get a new skill. And that new skill is on this on your turn, if this card is put from the rear guard circle to the drop zone, you can call them back to the rear guard circle. So you can kind of revive uh, cards that you eat. So it's pretty good. So you don't uh, you don't minus when you engorge, and also sets up uh, other attack uh, sets up more attacks because when they come back they'll be in stand position. So next we are running for uh, Dark Rex. Dark Rex is from G. Uh, no, not 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 even G. From BT08. So it's quite old, but um. He's quite a fun card to play with. His skill is, uh, he activates from the bind zone. So limit break four, uh, choose three of your rear guards and retire them. Uh, when a grade three or above Tachikaze unit attacks at the end of the uh, at the end of the uh, close step of the battle phase of the battle, I mean, not battle phase, uh, you can um, Ride this card. So basically, if after you finish attacking with a Vanguard, you can eat three and then ride this card from your bind zone. And how do you get him to bind zone? So his uh, his uh, skill is his other skill is uh, from the hand, it activates in the hand. So you can put this card in the bind zone and give one of your Tachikaze, unit, Tachikaze units plus three thousand power. So um, yeah, you can just, uh, buff units that normally can't hit. Uh, a Vanguard, and then you can also get him in the binds on that way. So, um, perfect example is this guy. He's an AK base, so you can buff him with uh, Dark Rex so that he can hit um, a Vanguard by himself, or you know, uh, at least hit a magic number. So, his skill is again a last one. So, last one on your turn, if this card is placed in the rear guard circle to the drop zone. You can pay the cost if you do call this card to a rear guard circle, and he gets plus two thousand power, three thousand power. So uh, he's a respawner, so you don't minus when you engorge. So you can just uh, eat him, and you don't even have to use Triceratops skill to revive him. So he's quite nice to have on the field uh, on turns that you want to. He's a pretty good engorge target. Next, we're running two of the. Um, Gaia support, so this guy's uh, Gaia Emperor, I think his name is. Um, so 
So yeah, if you kind of lost one, so lost one, if this card's placed on a rearguard circle, if you have a Gaia Vanguard, you may have to pay the cost, if you do, um, on this turn it gets plus 2,000 power and a new skill. When this card is engorged, you can uh, draw a card, and then during this turn this card gets plus 5,000 power. So it becomes a 16k attacker by himself, which is pretty, pretty scary. Um, yeah. So Gaia Emperor, uh, I mean, this deck, if you run rank 2, because in, uh, besides Gaia Emperor, we also run Darker X, so there's a, a chance that you might not have a Gaia Vanguard. So, for the other grade 3, or grade 2, we're running the Rex support. Uh, his skill is, on your turn, if you have a Rex, if you have a Rex uh, card in the Bind Zone, this card gets plus 2,000 power and a new skill. Uh, during a battle phase, if this card is placed from the uh, rear guard circle to the drop zone, and you have a Rex uh, Vanguard, you can uh, draw a card. So uh, he's 11k attacker on if you have a Rex. So it's in the bind zone. So it's pretty good because uh, chances are very high that you will have a Rex in the bind zone since. Um, you can just just do it, and so yeah, you can you can just you can you can use them even pre GB. So you can become a ten uh, and eleven K attacker early on. So he's not GB restricted, which is kind of nice. Next, we're running uh, two uh, three of the um, the. Generation Brick key card. So his skill is kind of lost one, choose one of your rear guards and retire it. When this card attacks, if this card is being boosted, you might pay the cost if you do. Uh, choose one of your opponent's uh, rear guards and retire it, and then this card gets plus 5,000 power. And a new skill, uh, when this card attacks, you, if it hits, you can draw a card. So he's a, he's a pretty, pretty good card. Um, the reason why we're not running four is because we want to make space for the other great twos that are in this deck. Uh, before I was running three of uh, three of the guy support, and then none of this, and then four of this. But uh, this card has been dead in my hand before because I rode uh, uh, Dark Rex. Um, I also tried running three of these and then none of these, but this card is quite good, so that's the reason why I'm running him. And then this card's also not bad because it's a 11 k attacker. This card only works when he's on call, so you know it's really, really uh, up to your personal personal preference. But uh, yeah, this lineup has been working fine for me, so I'm just gonna roll with it. So for the great one, running four stride fodders, uh, running f this many because a lot of times you're not going to use the dark rex as stride fodder. You want to use them as bind fodder, I guess you can call it. Uh, but it, yeah, so four stride fodders. You can also uh, search out guy emperor because he's quite the uh, important vanguard to uh, ride first. So it's good. Next, we're running four of the great one Gaia support. Uh, his skill is generation make one on your turn if this card's placed from the uh, rearguard circle to the drop zone. If you have a guy vanguard, you can counter charge one, so charge one, and uh, choose one of your units, and it gets plus two thousand power. So his, his he's mainly here for the counter charge one, so charge one, because uh, this deck does actually counter last one, uh, counter last and so charge uh, so last a lot thanks to this guy. So it's nice to have um, unflip options besides the perfect guard G. Because those aren't super reliable, but yeah, it's pretty easy to search this guy out with the Dying Vanguard. Um, last but not least, we're running, or besides the guard, we're running uh, two of these. This uh, this card's from G, uh, not G, God damn it, from BT zero one, uh, uh, BT zero eight, and uh, his skill is during a battle phase if this card's placed on the 
Rear guard circle to the drop zone. You can choose one of your Tachikaze units and it gets plus 3,000 3, power. Uh, mainly he's here for uh, Dark Rex food. So if you eat eat Dark Rex, eat it with Dark Rex, then um, you can pump Dark Rex to 13k so he won't get uh, 10k to no pass. 10k no pass. Because uh, he, if you don't have a booster for some reason on Turk on a turn that you do ride Dark Rex, then um, it's kind of crappy, but yeah. So we're running four Sentinels. We're running one non uh, unflip. I ideally, oops, shit. Ideally, I would run four, but uh, I've been playing with this one non, and it's been working fine. Uh, his skill is actually okay. Uh, it's skill is so it's a per normal for regard, except. Um, he has a new skill, and he has the Engorge skill, so... Uh, kind of lost one. When this unit is Engorge, you will pay the cost if you do. Uh, this this card gets um, plus 5,000 power, and uh, at the end of the turn, it bounces, bounces back to your hand. So you can use him as a temporary booster, which is alright. And... Um, Yeah, so you you can use him as a booster if you want. I mean, not a booster, a, a t attacker, 11k attacker, because uh, Engorge only works when you attack. So he's a temporary 11k attacker, so that's fine. It's not uh, not horrible. Uh, next, we're running four of the Gaia Emperor crit, and then we're running four of the uh, Unflip crit. So this is from BT uh, BT11. So charge him, and then you can unflip a uh, damage counter charge. And we're running four of these uh, Margol draws, so a lot of your triggers have effects. And then we're running four heals because heals are heals. All right, let's move on to the G zone because it's uh, where the fun stuff is. Uh, all right. So, uh, we're running for Gluttony Dogma. He's quite a powerful guard. Uh, skill is, uh, and so he has the Engorge skill. And his Generator 2 skill is uh, G Flip himself. And then when this unit attacks, uh, when, this card is, uh, when this unit is Engorged, and you uh, 8 3. Engorge three or more units, then um, he gets plus ten thousand power, and then uh, he also gets a new skill, which is uh, once per turn. Uh, when this card attacks, it, at the end of the battle, if this unit engorge five or more units, then you can restand him, and he loses one drive check. So basically, when you attack, you have to eat five, or else you won't uh, fulfill the condition for his restand. If you eat three, he still gets the plus uh, plus ten k, but you don't get the um, restand effect, or you get the restand effect, but you can't restand because you didn't engorge five. Uh, yeah, so even five is not really a problem if you shred break, because shred breaking is pretty easy mode if you uh, have the counter boss to pay for it and whatnot. And even after you, so assuming that you uh, have at least one elephant. Uh, you will still have three units, three units on the field afterwards, after you engorge uh, with the stride break. So the units will respawn, you can attack with them again or whatnot. And then uh, you can uh, eat it with dark, eat them with dark rex, and then re attack again. So it's pretty pretty scary. But I'll explain that in a bit. So next, we're running one of this is from Fighter Collection Zero One. So it's the first Fighter Collection uh, G Fighter Collection. Uh, his skill is, I'll choose one of your rear guards and retire it. When this card attacks, you pay the cost if you do, it gets plus 1,000 power. And uh, a new skill, when this card attack hits, you would choose one of your rear guards and retire it. Uh, he's quite, he's uh, usually my first ride. We're also running one of this. And its skill is, uh, when this card is engorged during this turn, uh, it gets plus 3,000 power. 
And if uh, during this turn you eight, engorge two or more units with this guard's effect, you can choose one of your opponent's uh, front row rear guards and retire it, I believe. I believe it's front row. I rarely use this card. Um, this card applies more pressure, so I like it more. And this card you need to engorge two, which is sometimes not the best, but if you eight, uh, if you call to, uh, if you use his strike back skill, you have nothing, nothing to uh, engorge, then I guess he's okay. And then we're running two of the uh, Rex Shride from uh, Fighter's Collection. So skill is once per turn. Uh, you can choose one of your opponents. Oh yeah, you can choose one of your rear guards and retire them. And then uh, if you have a Rex Heart, you're gonna search your deck for a Rex card and bind it. And then uh, tough your deck. And then uh, you can uh, th choose three of your front row units and they get plus 4,000 power. So, he's uh, mainly for you to use if you have, if you rode Rex, because that does happen. And, uh, he's actually not bad, because you can just uh, search for another Rex to bind. So you can uh, potentially uh, Limit Break. And, uh, he's, he's also works if you somehow didn't kill your opponent with Gluttony Dogma. Um, on the turn that you did, and you are, and you, and you also rode Dark Rex. Uh, doesn't usually happen because you get you get like three restands, or you get attack three times with the Vanguard. Um, so a lot of times your opponent will have very little hand left if they're not dead by the time you do that, and you can just uh, stride into the Rex, stride and uh. Probably finish your opponent off because you probably have another restand with this thing afterwards because you have the Dark Rex in the bind zone. So, uh, yeah, that's um, pretty much all I have for this deck profile, I guess. Oh, by the way, if you don't want to run, if you don't, you can run one less of this and run the Generation Rare if, uh, instead. Personally, the Generation Rare, it's a nice tech card, but it's not uh, super necessary. So, yeah, it's running two of this is for in case you are stuck in stuck in Dark Rex for more than two turns. Um, so yeah, he's there for that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this deck profile. Um, sorry for the brain farts. I am really tired today. And I just want to get this over with because I promised you guys to make a deck, Tachikazi deck profile, but um, but uh, I I st stalled for like two weeks or something, and um, oh well, ignore the brain farts. It's part of my charm anyway, I guess. Wink, wink. <laughs> and yeah, so this is Card Haku, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.